Hello everyone. So in today's session, we are going to learn about how we can control a motor. So these are the components which we require to control a motor. So we need a motor. Here we are using a bio motor that is battery operated motor. Then we have motor driver. Here we are using the motor driver that is Alto 8N. So this is our 8N module. We have a wheel. So that we can see the rotations that is in clockwise, anti-clockwise, or it is not rotating. Then we have a controller that is our Arduino Uno, and we have some jumper wires. Here we need male to male uh, and male to female wires also. So let's start by uh, seeing how uh, the motor drivers work. So if you see the motor drivers, let me show you the circuit also so that we can easily understand. So if you see the motor driver, we have uh, three: this blue color holes or uh, blue color ports in which we will connect some wires. So the first one which is from the front side, this is a power section in which we are going to provide the power. That is if you look at from the down, you can easily see, let me zoom in a little bit. Here you can see, like this first one is your 5 volt, then we have ground and then we have positive 12 volt. So these are the three pins that we require for power supply. Then we have this output pins, that is output 1 and output 2. Similarly, we have here output pins that is 3 and 4. So if you see here, power section, output, and here also is output. So when we connect a motor, so in our motor you can see we have two wires. So those two wires will be connected in either this section or this section. If we are connecting two motors, then we will connect at both these sides. But if we are connecting only a single motor, either we can connect it on the right hand side as well as the left hand side. Apart from that, if you see uh, a little bit here, here we see we have some male bar space. So these are used to uh, control our Arduino. Like from Arduino, we can control these pins, and these pins are internally linked with these four pins. So here you can see these are also four, and here we have also four pins. So these are like internally links, and this is for the power supply. So for example, we are uh, let's suppose we are only using only a single motor. So it will have two pins. So let's say I connected on my right hand side, that is this area. So for that I have these four pins. So out of these four pins, I have to use only two, uh, two pins because we are using only two pins here. So the nearest, for example, the uh, right hand side two pins we are going to use. Here you can see the third and fourth number pin. Here you can see. But if I use this section, I will use this first and second number pin. Here you can see there is nothing written over here because it is connected to our Arduino. And so let's assume that we are connected this to pin number let's say 7 and 8. So we can control our pin number 7 and 8 by providing them low and high value. Let's say the pins are low and high, so our, according to that, our motor will work. So let's start by making the connection of it. So for that, you also need a screwdriver so that you can find like in the nut bolts. So let me quickly arrange uh, or connect the circuit. So now as you can see that the motor has been connected successfully with our motor driver. Now what we have to do, we have to connect this motor driver with our Arduino and provide the power supply. So for power supply, we are going to use these three holes or this area and we are going to provide this your 12 volt as well as your ground. So 12 volt if you see carefully. Here you can see this is your 12 volt and this is your ground. So means I have to connect this pin as well as this pin to provide the power supply. And for 12 volt we are going to use here you can see in our Arduino we don't have any 12 volt supply. So we are going to use the V in pin. This is your first pin. So this is your V in pin. So this is like whatever uh, the voltage we are providing to our Arduino, it will use this. Uh, we can fetch it out using the V in pin. Uh, 5 volt will give fixed 5 volt, 3.3 will give fixed 3.3 volt, but V in will be very depending upon our input source. So if I am using this area, so it will like uh, maximum 5 volt, but I can use a DC jack to provide more than 5 volt, like 9 or 12 volt, and I can fetch that value using this V in pin. So we are going to use those pins. So let me make the connections also. So here you can see we have connected the wires here. 
So this add color is for your brand mode. So I am providing it B in. So you can see the first pin. And the second one is your ground. That is after the main pin, we have a ground pin. So this is your connection. 12 volt and ground pin. Now, what do you want to do? We want to use this area. That is, here you can see we have four pins. So we will use this third number and fourth number pins. And we will connect it with our digital pins of our Arduino. So that we can control it. So let's use some jumper wire. Now here we are going to use our male to female jumper wires. Let's connect to them. Now I am connecting it with 8 number and 7 number pair. 8 number and 7 number pin. So this is my connection. Let's also connect uh, the wheel so that we can see the rotation and also the direction of, of my rotation. So now let's go to our code section and write some code for it. So here in my code section, first what we have to do, we have to define the pins. So we will use pin mode. And we are using the pin that is our 7 and 8. Yes, we are using 7 and 8. So, so these are the two pins that we are using for rotating our motor. After that, let's say I want to just rotate it in a, any uh, our particular direction. So, digital right. So, uh, one thing that is when we rotate the motor, like here you can see, we have two parts. So, if I am giving it a positive supply and this one is the negative supply, so uh, let's assume it is rotating in clockwise direction. Now, if I change the supply, means this one is negative and this one is positive, it will rotate in anti clockwise. Apart from the LED, which is like if I am providing positive and negative, if it is glowing, and if I switch the uh, value, then it will not turn on. But in motor it will rotate, but in, it, is, it will rotate in a positive direction. So those we will see. So let's say I give the 7 pin as I. Or it will be like 1. And the bottom one will be your low. That is another one. If I do uh, simply just like that, I have to provide power supply also. So let's upload the code. Okay, so here you can see that our motor is uh, rotating in a clockwise direction. Now, if I just okay, you can see that I am providing the power with my USB port. Now, if I use another power supply, let's say a battery which has a more uh, voltage, that is, here uh, we can provide a, a voltage of 5 volts. So, if I just unplug this and instead of this, let's say I use a battery. So you can see that the power has been increased. So because it is a bio motor that is battery operated motor, that's why it is like uh, using the battery and its voltage. Here we are using the lithium uh, ion battery. Okay. Now let's uh, unplug this. Connect this again. Let's write the code in a different position. That is, let's say I switch it. That is, this is low and the bottom one is high. So you can guess it, what will happen, it will rotate in opposite direction, here you can see. Now it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. Uh, if I give the power supply again, it will rotate fast. Now, here if like we learn how to move it clockwise direction as well as in anti-clockwise direction, now we can also use the analog right function instead of digital right to give them a speed, a fixed speed. Here, high and low means you are like 100% and 0%. Like if we use analog right, then we have to provide a value between 0 to 255, where 0, 0 means 
your low and 255 means high so like i can uh, control the speed of it also that is it should uh, take a slow turn or it should move slowly or it can move it with a maximum speed like when i connect it with the power supply it is rotating at maximum speed so i can also control the speed also using the analog write function let's try that let's say i use the here so it did my eighth number pin okay now if i use the analog write function you have to notice that that should be happen in your pwm pin so 8 is not a pwm pin so uh, 9 is a pwm uh, wm pin so let me use a 9 pin so as you can also see as i switch the wire the pin has left the motor has stopped working because the power is at now 8 oh, sorry 9 instead of 8 so let me reduce it and 9 instead of digital it will be analog and let's say the value is okay let's test for 255 that is maximum which we are seeing right now here you can see but if i change the value let's say by 255 i use 155 the okay. it is more rotating but it has a very slow speed here you can see so we can also control the speed of it like if i plug this you can see like it is very less as we have earlier so if i press control z and control u upload the code you will see that when i upload it will be it is more faster here you can see so we can do we can uh, control the speed of our motors also we have learned the direction now how to stop the motor now for stopping the motor we have to provide both of them with same polarity that is let's say it is low it should also be low that is your zero or you can write low also so if both of them are low it will not work because there is no voltage difference or potential difference there between these two pins so it is like not moving Thank you and see you in the next session.